Daddy's Bedtime Story. The Very Scary Jack-O-Lantern. How do you carve a scary jack-o-lantern, Elliot asked Grandpa Bud. You must get a pumpkin from the yellow-eyed snaggletooth witch, Grandpa Bud answered. From the yellow-eyed snaggletooth witch, Elliot gasped. How do you do that? Well, said Grandpa Bud. On a moonlit night, when the air is crisp, a black cat will stroll out of town. Follow it. The cat steps into a cornfield and disappears. Dry leaves rustle and softly in the wind. And then, clatatatat, a skeleton dances by. Follow it. The skeleton stops at the edge of the pond. It dives. You hear no splash, but it's gone. Three pale ghosts rise out of the mist. They swirl, they sigh, they hum. Follow their song. As they glide through the woods, the ghosts melt away. An owl hoots. Bats swoop down. One of them seems to lead the way. Follow it. In the clearing in the woods stands a tiny hut. Walk right in. No need to knock. Inside the hut, you're not alone. A long-legged spider spins down from the ceiling. A huge steaming cauldron stands on the hearth. And then she appears. From where? Who knows? Eyes closed, arms outstretched, she holds a large orange pumpkin. Now watch carefully. As she opens her eyes, do they shine yellow? And she starts to cackle. Does a snaggletooth show? If so, take the pumpkin and run. Outside the hut, the black cat returns to show you the way. Follow it. Run through the woods, past the pond, and across the cornfield. Run until you and the pumpkin are safely at home. And then, Grandpa Bud said with a wink, you'll be scared enough to carve a very scary jack-o'-lantern, just like this. The end. Wasn't that nice?